everyone, and thank you for joining me today at the Top Museum of Art. Today we're going to be talking about scale. And the scale of a work of art is it actually its size. Right now we're looking at a work of art by Johann Hamza called The Market Scene. Johann Hamza was an Austrian painter who was very well known for his extremely detailed paintings. He would try to capture almost every single detail he could in his paintings to make them almost as if they were photographs of that moment in time. In this particular work, he's focused on a market scene where you see various individuals buying and selling goods. Now, if you were here in person with me looking at this work of art, you may have some trouble deciphering some of the details in this painting because of its size. I'm going to put my hand up to the painting so that you can see actually how small this painting is. So it's really no bigger than a slightly smaller than a four by six photograph, right? But this artist has been able to capture incredible detail at a very small scale. He's even written out his signature um, very well for the viewer to see. And imagine how small of a paintbrush this artist would have to use to create the details that he has included in this work of art. Now let's compare Nora by John Singer Sargent to the work we just saw by Johan Hamza, the market scene. In comparison, Nora is a full length, actual to size portrait, right? So if Nora was standing next to me, she would be about my height, right? But she's hanging up a little bit higher here. But by scale, she is much larger than the market scene by Johan Hamza. So artists will often use different scales to paint or to create their works of art. They may choose to paint something that's normally very large in a very small space, or they could paint something very small in a very large space to blow it up to a different scale. Imagine trying to paint on a grain of rice. There's even artists that will do that or there's artists that will paint entire ceilings, right? It all depends on the scale that they wish to paint or draw on. What could you paint very large? And what could you paint on a very small canvas? How detailed do you think you can make it, right? If we look at Nora, we notice that there are several details here but it's not as detailed as the scene we saw with Johan Hamza. With Johan Hamza, you could see every little grain of rice that was in the basket or vegetable, right? With Nora, we definitely see Nora and we see that she has this beautiful dress on, but we don't see every detail. I don't see every bead that's on her dress. I don't even see the carpet that well, the design in the carpet or even what's behind her on the wall. So you can be as detailed or not as detailed as you like, depending on the scale that you're working in. I hope that you'll consider working in a different scale. Try doing something very small and doing that same drawing very big to increase your scale. We'd love to see what you come up with. We'll see you next time. Hi everyone, and thank you for joining me today at the Taubman Museum of Art. We have just talked about how um, artists use scale when creating their paintings or drawings, and we've compared the uh, Johann Hamza's market scene to John Singer Sargent's Nora in the gallery. And now we are going to create our own mini drawing. So take a small piece of paper 
and decide what you are going to draw on your small sheet. Try to get as detailed as possible. I think I am going to do a drawing of the Taubman Museum of Art and I'm going to try to put as much detail as possible in my drawing while keeping it rather small in nature. You really have to be really careful about all of your lines when you're doing a tiny drawing. Try to see how many details you can put in your drawing. See if you can be like Johann Hamza and really just get every single thing that you can. Maybe you do a market scene like Johann Hamza or maybe you do something in your backyard or maybe you try to do an image of an elephant or something very large on a very small scale. Okay, so there is my tiny drawing at the Tom and Museum of Art in some of downtown Roanoke. I hope you enjoy creating a tiny drawing and then maybe get a large sheet of paper and do a very large drawing like Nora. Have fun using different scales and we'll see you next time.